Hello, thank you for joining us today on our presentation about medical, dental, and vision benefits. For more information or questions, please email benefits at nolanred.com. Today we are going to discuss the different types of medical plans and red offers, as well as our dental and vision coverage, and some of the benefits and resources that we have for our medical, dental, and vision benefits. First and foremost, our providers for medical are is Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Kansas City. It's very important that we specify of Kansas City as if you just put on your uh, paperwork or when you're downloading any type of apps or anything of that nature, there are many subdivisions of Blue Cross and Blue Shield. So please, in order to ensure that you have the right provider for your medical insurance, you want to be sure to list Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Kansas City. For our dental, we have Delta Dental of Kansas City and Vision is VSP. You will receive, should you enroll in medical and dental benefits, you will receive an insurance card for both your medical and dental. You do not need an insurance card for vision benefits. For our enrollment process, we ask that new hires enroll within 30 days of employment for their benefit selections. For our tenure team members, you are able to make adjustments or enroll in any type of benefit selections during open enrollment or should a qualifying life-changing event occur. Some examples of a qualifying life-changing event are birth of a child, marriage, divorce, death. These are all events that could uh, occur for you to be able to make any adjustments or new enrollments into your benefit selections. Once you've enrolled and when you're eligible, once you've enrolled in insurance for new hires, you become your insurance becomes active on the first of the month following 60 days. So an example, if you started in November, your insurance benefits would become active February 1st. For our tenured team members, open enrollment is tentatively occurring in January. Your benefits would then become active February 1st. Should a life-changing event occur where you are wanting to make adjustments to your benefits, you must make those adjustments and enroll within 30 days of the event occurring and they would become active the first of the following month. Please keep in mind any type of life qualifying event, you are required to provide verification and documentation of the event. For example, marriage, you would provide a marriage certificate. What types of plans do we offer for our medical benefits? For our medical benefits, we have two different types of plans and three different tiers within those plans. We offer an HSA and a PPO plan. HSA stands for a health savings account plan. If you would like more information on HSA or FSAs, please take a look at our HSA versus FSA presentation or once more, email benefits at nolanred.com. PPO plans are our preferred provider organization plans. This allows for members to access both local network of doctors and hospitals, as well as those may be preferred or recommended by the provider. Or again, it allows the flexibility of having the option to go to someone who is within network already utilizing our insurance, or if you have a local practitioner that you would prefer to use, even though they may not be working with our insurance, you still have the capability of going and seeing that practitioner. 
when you are looking at each breakdown and description of the plan, it does list out in and out for your deductibles. Um, in meaning it is preferred to be within network. So they're already utilizing and working with our insurance provider. Out meaning outside of the preferred network. So they are not utilizing our insurance carrier at that moment. Let's break down what we should know when reviewing each plan. What is a deductible? A deductible is the amount you pay for covered healthcare services before mm -hmm. your insurance plan starts to pay. For example, if you have a $2,000 deductible, you pay the first $2,000 of covered services yourself out of pocket. Once that $2,000 deductible has been met, your co-payment or your co-insurance kicks in and then pays your covered services. Deductible amounts do vary from tier to tier or plan to plan. There is also a difference between an individual coverage or a family coverage. In order to reach your deductible, it is recommended to use in-network doctors and hospitals in order for those costs to apply to your deductible. So what kinds of costs go towards a deductible? We wanted to provide you with a quick snapshot of some overview costs and services that may apply to your deductible. You can create and go to Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Kansas City website to find more details and specifics of the various surgeries and procedures that may apply to your deductible. First and foremost, bills for hospitalizations, surgeries, procedures, lab tests, um, MRIs and CAT scans, any anesthesia, doctor and therapist visits not covered by a copay, and some medical devices such as pacemakers also would go towards a deductible. Costs that don't count towards your deductible, typically copays, premiums, so the amount that you pay for your insurance that's being deducted out of your paycheck does not go towards your deductible and any costs not covered by your plan. Looking at our different options, we want to apply what we know about deductibles and read what option may be best for us when we're looking at enrolling. Our first plan, option one, is our Preferred Care Blue Saver HSA. This is our highest deductible plan, meaning you have a $3,000 deductible in network for an individual, so a high deductible. You're paying less out of your paycheck on a monthly basis, but all costs for services, visits, prescriptions, equipment are being paid out of pocket up front. Once more, all of those costs, as you can see here, let's give the example of urgent care. I am needing to go to urgent care for a standard visit. I know that the urgent care visit is $150. Upon arriving for my appointment, I am going to pay $150 out of pocket up front for that service. If I reach my deductible at a later date, I've reached my deductible, $3,000 in network, my coinsurance is now going to kick in. You can see in network, 100% coverage. Same concept, I go to urgent care, they are within network, I have reached my deductible, my urgent care visit is now going to be covered by my coinsurance.
When considering and reviewing your plan options, you want to, again, we take the expertise and the recommendation of our healthcare professionals and health insurance professionals. The suggestion provided by them is as seen here. When you're looking at your different plans, if you're considering a high deductible plan, lower premiums, so less out of your paycheck, those are for individuals that are mostly healthy, families are mostly healthy, you don't expect to need costly medical services throughout the year, you anticipate minimal doctor's visits, you're just going to your standard annual visit visits or preventative care visits. On the opposite end, if you are wanting a lower deductible plan, meaning more out of your paycheck on a monthly basis, your services and costs of reaching that deductible are made sooner because you are possibly visiting the doctor's office more often, um, you have a known medical condition um, that you know needs care, uh, may have an active family or you yourself are very active. Having a known medical condition could be something as simple as you have very high allergies and need to go receive an allergy shot on a consistent basis. So those are, again, consistent needs, consistent cares is an example of, of a known medical condition, or it could be something a little bit more severe, um, such as diabetes. Again, that's something that has to be constantly managed. Therefore, you may want to consider a lower deductible because you're going to be having more visits, so those costs are going to be reached sooner. But at that same time, you are paying a little bit more out of your paycheck on a monthly basis. So we've talked a lot about deductibles and what happens after you reach your deductible, where co-pays and co-insurance apply. So let's define both co-pays and co-insurance. For co-pays, those are paid each time you visit your doctor or fill a prescription, those copay dollar amounts are listed on the plan that you're reviewing. It is a fixed dollar amount. Some can count towards your deductible. Again, we would encourage you to look on the website for detailed information. And they are paid at the time of service. So we are going to use the same example as previously stated. If I go to an urgent care visit, original cost of visit is $150. I am on plan option two, and my copay for a urgent care is $60. I am going to pay my $60 at the time of visit versus the $150. Coinsurance. Coinsurance is paid for services and medicines if you have met your deductible. So again, coinsurance does not come into play until your deductible has been met. It is the actual dollar amount of the service or a percentage of the total cost of covered services. So it is not a set dollar amount. It varies from the type of service or appointment that you're going to have. It's paid after you've met your deductible, and then it is billed to you at a later date. For example, we are again going to urgent care. I know I have met my deductible. My coinsurance is going to take over. So at the time of service, I go have whatever I need done at urgent care. They are going to invoice all of my services that I needed for that appointment to my insurance, my insurance is going to say we cover 80% of these services, pay the doctor's office. They are then going to send yourself an explanation of benefits, breaking down the total of what was covered, 
and the remaining 20% I would be responsible for and pay directly to the urgent care office. So taking all of our knowledge on deductibles, co-pays, and co-insurance, we want to further review our Care Blue Base PPO or option two that we offer. This is a lower deductible as we can see here. An individual in network is $2,000, but you would pay a little bit more out of pocket excuse me, you would pay a little bit more out of your paycheck on a monthly basis with a lower deductible plan as shown here. You can also see that once your deductible is met, your co-insurance, if you are in network, so again, utilizing the providers, doctors, hospitals that already work with Blue Cross Blue Shield of Kansas City, they're going to cover 80% um, of those services or coverage within network. You can also see that for our primary care physician appointments, as long as that uh, primary care physician is within network, you have a $30 copay. So that is what you would pay at the time of service, at the time of visit. For urgent care, you have a $60 copay. Once more, that is what you would pay at the time of service. Reviewing our final option, which is our blue buy-up PPO or option three. This is the lowest deductible plan. This is slightly more out of your paycheck, so it does have a higher premium of what you're paying on a monthly basis. You can see also you have your co-insurance within network, 80% coverage for an individual. And then of course, co-pays are aligned throughout this plan as well. Primary care physician, $30, urgent care, $60. How do you know who's in network, where to find a local doctor? Again, in order to maximize and ensure that you're reaching your deductible, if you go to the mybluekc.com website, we highly encourage you to create an account. This is going to allow for you to review and see your explanation of benefits online, manage and see what costs and services are going towards your deductible. And then most importantly, you're going to be able to also see who is within network. Once more, we will provide this link down at the bottom below for you to click on in order for you to um, see what hospitals and doctors around you are within network. Another feature and service that is offered by Blue Cross Blue Shield of Kansas City with our medical benefits platform is utilizing their Blue KC virtual care app. This app has many, many resources. It is a quick way to um, visit or speak with a healthcare professional who is licensed and certified. Um, you are able to connect easily, whether you choose to utilize video chatting or just through phone. You are also able to set it up on a computer. And then of course, most importantly, you have 24-7 access should you need any type of healthcare um, or seek healthcare professionals at any point. You also are only paying the same cost according to your plan. There is no cost um, that would be prescribed as an emergency room, so you're paying much, much less um, in savings because it's going to go according to your plan. So if you're just needing a standard urgent care visit, you're paying that standard. If you're on options two or three, your copay amount. If you're on your HSA, you're paying whatever standard urgent care visit cost is versus emergency room costs. 
outside of any type of medical care, if you're feeling ill, um, maybe standard cold, you do also have the option and services to discuss and meet with um, behavioral specialists, therapists, um, and other services within the app as well. So it's very diverse. Once more instructions, you are able to download the app on any type of device. Um, go to your Apple Store, your Google Play Store, type in Blue KC Virtual Care app, and you're going to be able to then create your account. Very, very important that you type in all of your accurate information so that it can sync your uh, plan option to any costs or services that you are utilizing through the app. You also can manage and have a digital copy of your insurance card with your app as well. So it's a, a huge feature. What else is included in our benefits platform specifically to medical? Uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Kansas City has opted to partner with Rx Savings Solutions. There is a quick link on their website for you to enroll in their uh, platform. This is an online tool to help you save on prescriptions. Um, it's free of charge. There is no additional uh, cost to you for enrolling and partnering with Rx Savings Solutions. It's going to give you many, many discounts on a various um, amount of prescriptions. It also is going to create a prescription profile for you in order to manage and keep a running history of your prescriptions in order for you to share with your doctors. In addition, we also have preventative services that are covered 100% across all plans. As long as you are utilizing and visiting doctors and hospitals that are within network. So it's very, very important. Again, we encourage you to check out um, the website and make sure that you're utilizing a in-network facility, doctor, hospital, so that you can maximize your coverage. Some examples of preventative services are mammograms, physicals, um, and female wellness. Once more, this is 100% covered on any medical plan that you choose. As we continue, we're now going to transition into dental. For dental, this is a standard plan across the board. There are no plan options to change. Um, you pay a monthly premium for your dental. Your monthly premiums do vary based off of whether or not you are enrolling just for yourself or if you're adding any type of dependents. We will review those monthly costs um, once we cover a little bit of information as to what the plan design is. For your dental, you do have a deductible for employee is $50. For family, it's $150. Once that deductible has been met, your coverage then uh, becomes, your coinsurance coverage then comes into play. For example, as listed for your benefits, um, your services are listed by preventative services, basic services, major services, and then off to the right, it's going to tell you the percentage of coverage that is covered as well as within the details of the plan design, the frequency. For example, on preventative services, you are 100% covered two times per calendar year. Calendar year is from January to December. We do have each plan brochure available that we can attach and send to you should you need that. Or again, you can click on the link below and you will see this exact detailed outline of what is aligned in your dental plan. Furthermore, some examples of some basic services. Once more, 
after your deductible has been met, 80% is going to be covered for those services. You can see here for root canals, this is included. Um, again, should you need this procedure, 80% of that procedure is going to be covered and you are responsible for the remaining 20%. Big feature, children under the age of 12 who are enrolled in dental coverage are 100% covered for all services. Delta Dental also has a website that you can visit called deltadentalks.com where you can create your online profile. Within that profile, you are able to print um, insurance cards, you're able to check your eligibility and benefit information, uh, claims or your explanation of benefits, you're able to manage and review. They also have a mobile app as you can see here, you can visit any Play Store, type in Delta Dental mobile app. The Delta Dental KS icon is going to appear. You can then download that app and you are going to have access to utilize electronic insurance cards. You can find a dentist uh, within your area to ensure that you're going to be within network, again, to maximize your coverage. But most importantly, my two favorite features are being able to schedule your dentist appointment directly from this app, as well as utilizing the dental care cost estimator. So if I have a dentist appointment, my dentist states I'm going to need XYZ services, I'm able to go into my app. Again, all of my information is synced based off of my plan coverage look up that service, see how much my insurance is going to cover and get a cost estimate of what that procedure is going to cost me so that I can financially set myself up for that service. As stated, you can see on our screen our dental rates for 2020. Um, again, these are monthly premiums. We can in fact confirm that there are no changes to these premiums for 2021. So these rates will be the exact same for 2021. This premium is a monthly deduction. So your total of $28.62 for employee dental coverage would be split into two payroll cycles. Vision, once more, our vision provider is VSP. VSP is one of the largest known providers in the nation, uh, which is really nice because that's going to allow uh, diversity and many, many doctors um, and or offices within network. As our dental plan, it is a set plan across the board. There are no plan options. You pay a monthly premium and you are going to receive coverage as shown and detailed align in our plan now. So for your plan, you can see that a Well Vision exam within network is a $10 copay and then it's going to show you the frequency. So you can go to a Well Vision exam every 12 months and all that you have to pay is a $10 copay. As we continue to see the breakdown of this plan, prescription glasses is a $25 copay. Included in that copay, so you pay $25, you're going to get an allowance for frames. You have $130 allowance for frames every two years. Should you decide to use some featured frames, you get some additional discounts and a higher allowance. Um, some of those featured frames are listed below. You've got Calvin Klein, Nine West, Nike, so good quality brands. And as you continue to see our plan description, you do have coverage for 
lenses every 12 months. Um, you have custom lenses, should you need custom lenses every 12 months. Contacts as well, you have $130 allowance every 12 months. And an additional feature that we like to point out is should you decide that outside of your glasses you would like sunglasses, you get an additional 20% savings uh, within that $25 copay. How can you utilize who is in within network for VSP? You can go to VSP.com, type in your zip code, create an account, and it's going to pull up your local opt optometrists that are within network. You can also click on the link below and that will take you directly uh, to that website so that you can, again, find who is within network. If for any reason the doctor of your choice is not within network, so your optometrist does not utilize VSP, not to worry, you are still covered for out-of-network providers. As you can see here, should you go to an out-of-network provider and you have a well-visit exam, it is going to cover up to $45 of that exam cost. Once more, if you would like more information or detailed plan outlines, please email benefits at nolanred.com or click on the attachment below. Premiums, as stated with our dental, are on a monthly basis. So for vision coverage for an employee, that monthly premium is $8.58. That $8.58 total is split into two payroll cycles. We hope you find this information helpful. We appreciate you joining us today. Once more, should you need more information, please reach out to benefits at nolanred.com. Thank you and have a great day.